What's up, students? Welcome to a video about speed and velocity. Uh, when I begin this video, I recommend taking some notes in your notebook. Now, make sure it goes on the appropriate page. Uh, but we're going to be learning about speed and velocity, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first learning target in this lesson, lesson 1.2a, says to describe the difference between speed and velocity. So hopefully by the end, you'll be able to do that. Let's start off with the definition of speed. So speed is designated with the symbol V. And speed is how far an object traveled, or its distance, over a certain period of time. Now you should be pretty used to this. For example, if you're traveling in a car, you know that if you look at the speedometer, or the speedometer, you might be traveling 35 miles per hour, or MPH. That's miles, which is a distance, over a, a period of time, which is in hours. Other examples of this could be you walked two meters per second. So as long as it's some type of a distance, over a certain amount of time, that's the speed. The speed equation that you're going to want to know is this. So V, or speed, is equal to distance over time. Velocity is very similar to speed. In fact, we'll designate velocity with a V as well. However, velocity is a little bit different. It says how far an object traveled in a certain direction or the displacement for a certain amount of time. So very similar, only we're kind of adding one more important piece, and that's the displacement, or the direction. So for example, the car traveled 35 miles per hour is the speed, but the, far, the car traveled 35 miles per hour north is the velocity. I walk two meters per second to the left, that's also a velocity. So just by adding a little bit more information, we get the velocity. Now the velocity equation is very similar, only this time it's V, which is equal to the displacement over time. And this is because if you remember, the displacement, similar to the, the distance, however, it includes also a direction as well. So it's the displacement, the distance, including a direction, the magnitude and direction over time. All right, let's take a look at the next learning target. This is learning target 1.2b, so it's the second learning target in this lesson. It says to calculate the speed, distance, or time of travel of an object. So you should be able to do any of those three things. Let's take a look back at the speed equation. Remember, speed or velocity is equal to v, and it is equal to the distance over time, or distance divided by time. So let's try with a practice problem here. Here we have... Yoshi. Yoshi is carting down Rainbow Road heading east. It took him about 180 seconds to get to the end of the 16,000 meter road. What was his speed and what was his velocity? Well, to do this problem, you got to look at the different parts. Now, what I really like to do is to circle the different things we have. Let's start at the top and go down. First of all, he's heading east. That's a direction. Secondly, we have 180 seconds. This is time. And then we have 16,000 meters. This is a distance. So what was the speed? Well, let's go ahead and pull that equation in there. We have velocity or speed is equal to distance or displacement over time. So we're going to take our distance, which is 16,000 meters, and we're going to divide it by our time, which is in seconds. And we're going to get an answer. And it's 89 meters per second. That's the speed. But what was the velocity? Well, this is so great. It's the same as speed, only this time we need to add the direction. It's 89 meters per second east. Let's try this again. See if you can figure this one out yourself. In fact, pause the video. See if you can figure it out. All right, did you take a chance to pause the video? If not, well, that's okay. We'll go ahead and try it together. It says you ride your bike to the park 1800 meters from your house. If you ride at a speed of 12 meters per second, how long will it take you to get to the park? Well, let's look at the different parts of this of this problem. First, at the very top, we have 1800 meters. That's a distance. Second, we have 12 meters per second. That's a speed. Now, what's the question? Well, I'm going to highlight it in green here. The question is this, how long will it take? That's a time. Well, looking at our old problem or our old equation, velocity or speed is equal to distance over time, uh, we have a problem. This equation really isn't set up for what we want it to be, so we can't really use it. We're not looking for speed. We have speed. We're looking for time. So what are we going to do about it? 
Well, let me teach you a trick here using these different formulas. It's kind of a math trick. Here we have speed, which is equal to distance over time. I'm actually going to rewrite this in a different version. Here we have the triangle version. If you look in the triangle version, you see here we have velocity right here, or speed, and then distance is over time. Now this triangle is written the same way, or very similar to the equation, you know, just the different parts of the triangle, so we can use it to figure out the different parts of what we need. So for example, we are already used to figuring out what speed is. We know speed. Now to use this triangle, if you want to find something, you just need to cover it up with your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hand and cover up speed, or V, and that lets me know that, okay, in order to calculate speed, speed is just distance divided by our distance over time. But what if we wanted to calculate something else? Well, let's try time, for instance. If we cover up time, we can see here that time is just distance over speed, or distance divided by speed. The same thing can be said about distance. What we do is just cover up distance if we wanted to solve for it. And in order to solve for distance, this one's a little bit different. This time we take speed and we multiply it by time because it's right next to one another. So we can use this triangle or these formulas to solve for anything, distance, time, or speed. And this is a major part of the learning target. So let's come back to our problem. And here we have our triangle. We're going to go ahead and figure out what we need. We're looking for time, so we're going to cover up the T in the triangle. Now, what do we need? We need to take distance, and we need to divide it by the speed. So let's do that. Let's take our distance, which is 1,800 meters, and divide it by our speed, which is 12 meters per second. And we're going to go ahead and find our answer, which is 150 seconds. All right, one more problem. You drive to Minneapolis down 35W, traveling at a modest 55 miles per hour. If it takes you 20 minutes to get to the city, how far is it from here to Minneapolis? Kind of a big problem, but see if you can figure it out yourself. Pause the video, try it yourself, and then unpause it. All right, whether you tried it or not, let's go ahead and try this out together. So first of all, here, what are we looking for? What do we have? Well, first we have 35W. That's a direction. That's 35. That's Interstate 35. We're heading west. 55 miles per hour, you should be used to that being a speed. And then finally, it takes you 20 minutes, which is a time. So what's the question? How far is it? What's the distance? So if we use our triangle properly, let's go ahead and cover up the D with our hand. And here, in order to calculate distance, we're going to take speed and multiply it by time. So let's do that. We have 55 miles per hour times 20 minutes. Uh-oh. There's a problem. You cannot take miles per hour and times it by minutes. Those are two different units. So we need to make one more conversion before we finish this problem. We need to make sure that the units that are the same, i.e. time, are the same. We can't be dealing with hours and minutes because things just get confusing. So I'm going to cross out our minutes, and we want to actually write down what that is in hours. So 20 minutes, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, that's one-third of an hour or 0.33 hours. So now we can do this problem. Take distance, 55 miles per hour, multiply it by our time, which is 0.33 hours, and we're going to get our problem, which is 18 miles. So that's how far it is from here to Minneapolis. All right, just to review, we talked about two things in this video. The first thing is to describe the difference between speed and velocity, and hopefully you were able to do that. The second thing we were able to do is to calculate speed, distance, or time of travel of an object. object. We can use any one, we should be able to figure out any one of those three things, and you can use that triangle if you needed to do so. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me through the video. Hopefully you learned some things. Uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. Have a good one.